Here we have this Foxwell scanner. This scanner will allow you to read and erase the engine uh, codes, but also can read and clear ABS and SRS codes. So first we're going to focus on the check engine light <coughs> and reading uh, codes from the engine control unit. So once you plug the scanner into an OBD2 port underneath your dashboard, turn on the ignition and this scanner will power on. If it doesn't, make sure you press the power button down there. It'll take a few seconds for you to detect the correct protocol that's used on your particular make. And then uh, you can come in here and go to OBD2 and press enter. Here is a quick summary, ML, MIL status, um, it's on, that means check engine light is on, codes found 1, monitors not applicable 1, monitors ok, R9, and monitors incomplete, R0, and that is important because if you take your vehicle for emission test and you have more than 1 incomplete, you will not be able to pass that test. Go ahead and press enter. So let's go first look at reading codes, press enter, and then stored codes are uh, codes that are already stored in the ECU and pending codes are codes that might not have triggered the check engine light yet but if they continue to persist then they remain and the engine control unit keeps detecting them that will trigger on the check engine light so we can start with pending codes first and the code is P0341 and it says a uh, camshaft position sensor circuit so that is a pending code but this is also stored code because the code is um, it keeps coming up and so you can see here that it's also a stored code so sometimes you might have a pending code but not stored code because um, the ECU engine control unit keeps keeps checking that particular system and see if the if the problem is still there and if so that's why it's it's put as a pending code but then once it does detect the problem then it will go into a stored and also turn on the check engine light so let's go back now once you do have that code or more than one code um, you need to fix that problem that's triggering that code and then once you do fix the problem you come back in here you power on the scanner and this time we'll go to erase codes and then you press enter and it says erase trouble codes are you sure and then we'll press enter again and it says erase down now it's important to fix the problem before you can clear these codes uh, the, the issue is that if you do come in here and just clear these codes without fixing the problem the check engine light will return and depending on what kind of code it is it might return as soon as you restart the car or it could take a day or two for it to return but the code will eventually return if you haven't fixed the problem and one other important thing that I would like to look at really quick is this IM redness that I mentioned earlier this you can use for, for two reasons uh, the, the first um, way that you can use this is let's say if you were looking to buy a car and you want to see if the if the seller has reset the check engine light you can come in here and all these codes should say okay because a vehicle has been driven for days weeks it will have all this as okay meaning ready um, but a vehicle that uh, where the check engine light was reset or let's say the battery was disconnected to reset the check engine light we'll have a lot of these several of these uh, as incomplete uh, the other purpose for this is if you uh, have to take your vehicle for a mission uh, test and you come in here and and you have all of this uh, shown as okay and no check engine light then you're good to go you know you're gonna pass that emission test but if you come in here and you see one or more of this uh, systems is incomplete you'll go in there and even if your check engine light is off We'll go for an emission test and then they'll tell you to go drive the vehicle some more and go back to retest it now this scanner and i also do airbag uh, abs so we're gonna look at that really quick for that you'll go to abs and srs so here you can do auto scan it will detect all the systems well, ABS and airbag systems in vehicle but you might as well you can also go to control units and go select the the system or the the module you want to diagnose so like if your airbag light is on you'll come to airbag if your ABS light is on you'll come to electronic stability program it might be called um, ABS uh, as well right here but that is the, the module for the ABS so let's go into the airbag 
and press enter and the menu is going to look similar to the menu for the check engine light so you're going to be able to read codes clear them and also look at some live sensor data so as you can see here you can read codes and then you can see here the supply voltage of the control unit is too low and right next to the code you have the code there 903 and it says stored and if you do if the code does say stored uh, you, it's safe to go ahead and clear those codes as you can see here all the codes that we have are in storage status so if that is the case you can come back and go to erase codes and press enter and then do you want to do one or two rest the codes do you wish to continue and then you can press yes here and it'll rest the codes if, if you do have any codes that do say current then you will not be able to erase that particular code because it'll come right back up and then also you can see live data one thing that you might be um, interested in is the seat belt buckles if they are operating properly ignition circuits and operating hours counter but depending on your model those live data might look different here though um, one thing that's also important I would like to show you here we're going to the ABS control unit we can read codes here as well you can clear them as you can see you can read codes you can erase them and also see live data and something important that um, you might want to see in here is if you go to uh, press enter and you can see here uh, voltage supply switches rpm sensor uh, so here this is important because if uh, one of the most common reasons why abs lights does come on is because of uh, a defective uh, wheel speed sensor or wheel ABS sensor and this right here tells you left front speed sensor right front speed sensor uh, left and, and and so you have all of the sensors uh, it has the codes here um, uh, for this particular make but what's important is that here you can see the values so you can see there it says zero but if, if you do um, safely operate vehicle move it forward and back you should see these values change and if you do have uh, a sensor that is bad you can see here they're all the same value but if, if one of our uh, wheel speed sensors were defective you'll see that it will show one or it will show a value that's very different from the rest and they should be all the same value so this is also very important um, besides the fact that you can read and clear codes from the ABS um, module as well so that's it um, the most important thing uh, is that it can read and clear codes but it can work with mo the most popular makes and models out there uh, including European cars, um, Asian, American cars and so on. Thank you for watching.